Hi everyone, it's Reagan here. Thank you for tuning in. Just want to share some messages from my heart and hopefully it's helpful to you. So I really want to talk about creation. Creation and just just keeping it kind of short for today. Some things that I've been realizing and pondering. You know, I realized subconsciously, again subconsciously, it just really became conscious recently and I've been sitting with this is how much I've been again unwittingly putting energy into things that I can't control namely other people and it's hard you know it's hard I think we all can relate to this in one way or another you know I've always been very much of a black sheep so normally these things don't even bother me but it's getting more intense you know especially when we're seeing other people especially people maybe we're close with you know maybe buying into the mind control for example it's not very easy and you know there's only so much we can really do you know in a way it's like we do honor free will it's like it's good to try to help people inspire people love people of course and maybe plant seeds and lead by example because that's all you can really do you know the more you try to force people or control people it just doesn't work and plus as again as as beings of light we're taking the higher path so that's another reason why this isn't always going to be easy for us you know because we have these these higher principles to live by you know if you if you choose to, to take this path that i'm speaking of in this kinds of things like even even these people that maybe are are difficult you know it's like we have to be observant of ourselves and and how we're how we're treating people you know and how we're not just speaking or or doing but are we being are we judging or are we worrying are we wasting our energy because we're focusing our perception on on these lower things and sometimes that's necessary you know and we all go through that but i feel there comes a point when at least this happened to me you realize that you're actually wasting a lot of energy just trying to pull people out of the water especially the people who don't want to be pulled out of the water and we don't always understand this but not everyone came here with the same experience as we did so there's a certain point when i think we do need to honor free will and you know something i do i send love and i send prayers for these these people that i you know that i know that you know just chose a different path at least for now chose a different wavelength than me i try to be mindful of that because it doesn't help me at the end of the day to be judging and putting my focus into these lower you know what i consider not good or bad but just maybe lower vibrations again of fear or sadness or like concern or worry when it's again i'm not responsible for other people and i think this again is very relatable we're all feeling this right now i have to reel it in and you know i hear this a lot in my heart is just to focus on myself and and i can't i'm at the point in my journey where i can't blame anyone for anything anymore because again i'm not a victim and i and i know a little bit about how much i'm creating my reality to the point where you know i just can't hold blame for other people for what i'm feeling or what i'm thinking or what i'm doing it's my responsibility because the more you take responsibility for that and it's not always easy again awakening is not always easy taking this higher path it's not easy no one said it was easy but it's worth it it's so worth it and you come to find that more and more it's a brave and courageous path and it really builds character it expands your consciousness so therefore it expands your freedom and your ability to create the life you want i can tell you you know the more you study creation and by creation i mean you know something you create in your mind a vision you know a dream and you can hold that in your heart you know abundance happiness freedom success joy 
you know, pursuing what you're passionate about, traveling, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, Hat, like harmonious relationships. These are all things that you can create. And you create by, again, asking you shall receive. Start putting the intention out there. Start holding the vision. Write it down. You know, really start to understand how this works. You know, that's something that's just been really helpful to me. Because I feel like now is really a good time to start really creating. And that's what I, that's really what I'm trying to get at is like, this is just something that I experienced of, you know, I don't want to waste so much energy worrying about, you know, these these things that are out of my control when I could be focusing all my energy on on, on creating something, something in my life that's going to bring, you know, love into the world, bring more beauty into the world, bring more grace into the world, bring more sanity into the world. And we all have gifts like this, you know praising God is doing what you're passionate about you know this is a beautiful life it really is we have so much power and freedom when we come back into ourselves you know I think a lot of people can relate to that because it is hard you know it is very easy to get you know triggered and wrapped up in in the external world whether it's the world stage or your own life you know and there's nothing wrong with that because, again, the more you, you just be observant of when you do feel that triggering, whatever it may be, to come back in and, you know, and, and transmute it and learn from it, you know. Like I said, I, I, was, I was experiencing that myself, getting really sucked into, you know, worrying about other people's opinions that were very conflicting with my own when I and then because I sat down and faced that I realized you know well what can I actually be doing you know I can't change other people I can't worry about other people but I can start building my highest dreams on the next level and the law of attraction these creation this is real this is real anyone who's really done it genuinely knows it's real you know I've been able to experience and and create and build and attract so many beautiful things in my life using these types of things and I'm not going to get too much into that right now but definitely in the future you know healing and creation are two of my, my main focuses so my point is we're powerful creators and that's for me personally maybe it's helpful to you that's sort of consciously where I want to put my energy now you know things that I personally want and we all have our own calling. We all have our own unique gifts, our own unique passions of how we can uh, bring, again, more clarity into the world, bring more love into the world, bring more strength into the world, bring more compassion into the world. These higher qualities, you know, whether it's through art or music or dance or, you know, a business or, you know, healing or, or anything, writing. I mean, there's so many different creative ways to truly bring you know, these higher qualities to the earth, to the world, to humanity, and, you know, to your own personal life and your own development, that's also going to benefit all those around you and contribute to, you know, this, this humanity, this earth. Something that comes into my mind again and again and again is don't fight the old, build the new, you know, because when you build the new so well, the old becomes obsolete. And, you know, I don't think there's anything that can stop the dismantling of all these old systems that, that no longer serve us. This is very much like a collective dark night of the soul. So, you know, it's almost like why spend all this energy now, at this point, fighting these things when they're going to fall no matter what. And when if we just start building the new now, that is going to be so, that is so powerful. You know, and we've already been doing this, but it's just an affirmation to keep doing this and have faith in your vision and your creative abilities. You know? Because I don't, I just don't, personally, I don't even want to be a part of this old world anymore. I don't even want to participate in it, you know, as little as possible. Because I just, you know, 
that's I feel like that's what we're really doing here is we're building a new paradigm from the ground up and again it's not easy but you have what you need you have everything you need to do it and God will guide you if you put that your intention and your focus and your will is such a powerful thing never underestimate that so you know things I'm thinking about I want to you know really start you know in enhancing my skills you know really expanding my like my singing abilities my guitar playing abilities i want to learn to sew i want to start working with photography and art and painting more you know all these things you know because when you start putting these intentions out and you just let them be god literally will will show you in th through through your own inspired impulses how you will manifest these things you know another thing is you know community building community you know instead of worrying about fighting all the all those who don't agree with you well what about the people start start intending to attract your tribe the people who are on the same wavelength of you that want to build you know these more sustainable ways of living of community of of off-grid you know literally and metaphorically you know getting off of this these systems that are going to fall you know we can see that they're going to fall you know we've been screaming it from the rooftops that they're going to fall they're going to fall <laughs> but it's like what what do we have then you know we need to start building start building you know bringing this these qualities to the world that we want to see this is the work we have to do and it's fun you know it's actually fun again it's because it's it's going to call you to what you're passionate about you know whatever that may be and it's so divine it's so worth it you know again it's not easy it's not always easy a lot of these things we know but we just have to remind ourselves again and again and again you know just be the observer we are multi-dimensional so you're going to experience these things as a human and there's nothing wrong with that you're going to experience that duality but remember, you can go into your higher self at any moment and just be the observer. Just be the observer. The more you can breathe and just observe and go into your flow state, you know, the more things will start working out for you. The more you start experience things from a higher level. And it's very, very helpful. At least it has been in my life. So thank you all for listening. I know it was all over the place, but, you know, these are really incredible times. I'm feeling really inspired. I'm feeling really, this is this 3D to 5D. Again, multidimensional. It's like, we have so much power. It's like the more that the matrix tries to take away our freedom, the more, in a way, we're almost being forced to have to claim our freedom. And again, it starts within. Don't underestimate the power of your vision of your ability to create, you know, and that's maybe the last thing I'll say, and if you haven't gotten this already, this is what I was trying to say earlier, is like, be very observant, you know, as I found myself getting really distracted by, you know, all these things that come up to trigger us, and again, there's nothing wrong with getting triggered, again, these are, these are ways that we learn when we just don't resist it, just feel it, just learn from it, you know, truly amazing when that's part of shifting your consciousness you know what i mean so not getting so hung up or distracted by the contrast you know by the these you know not giving or be very mindful of your thoughts and of if you're where you're lending your energy out to you know what i mean if you're going to focus on all these, you know, I think that's something a lot of us have been doing. And, and there's nothing wrong with it because it is, a, it's intense. All this focus on, on all the people who don't want to wake up. You know, more people are waking up than ever. And that's a fact. But at this point, you know, there's so many awakened people. And when you're on your own path, even if you stand alone, you're, you're very powerful in what you create, what you manifest, what you envision, what you focus on, what do you believe. You know, your belief systems are very powerful and you actually have a choice in, in the information you believe. What you believe will create your reality. We are very free, sovereign, creator beings. You know, again, being this, this matrix of how things are right now, of being inundated with all these information and narrative, narratives and beliefs and opinions, it's very unnatural. 
you know, in, in this 5D, in this new earth, in this heaven, you know, it, you're creating it from the inside out. That's how I feel we really were meant to be. It's very unnatural for this, you know, to be creating our experience from the outside in. That's part of this matrix. That's part of why this is all so wonky, you know. So, again, it's just, I guess, another message of coming back into the heart, you know, being aware of where you're putting your focus and your energy. Because, you know, as we awaken and expand our consciousness, more and more of this subconscious stuff is going to be revealed in the light. You know, and we're seeing this collectively, but it's also true individually. And so, again, I guess that's just my ending message of just, you know, instead of fighting the old, build the new. Because the old is going to collapse no matter what, you know. And again, I'm not telling anyone what to do this is just something that I've found it's something that you know it really inspired me because I'm, I'm really excited and I feel more ready than ever to start taking my own creations to the next level and start really bringing in like this higher inspiration this higher beauty this higher love this higher clarity you know what I mean Ex that's part of our expression these and the ones who are you know scared or under the mind control you know that will be healing in a way for them, you know, people who will be witnessing the stuff that, that we're building, you know, and this is true on all levels, this is true spiritually and economically, don't fight the old, build the new. So I think that's everything for now, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you all are feeling the presence, the present moment, the present moment is the moment where you do start to create your reality, you know, start focusing on the gratitude, you know, Start focusing on this quantum universe, you know. Everything you want is already exists. It's just a matter of tuning it. Every, again, everything's vibration. So the more you can hold that vibration, the more you will align with that dream. You know, you don't have to do, you know... This is another topic for another day, but but creation is actually very simple. Again, not always easy, but it's very simple, and it starts in your mind and your heart. Every single thing, even those things you think, how could I possibly accomplish that? You know what I mean? If you just align with it, it just the way these things happen. It happens in ways that you won't expect. When you can just let it happen. Again, we're creator beings. That's my whole point here. Before I go on another tangent, but again, thank you all for being here so much. I love you. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to see what we create, what we really start to build here. You know, feel free to comment what you're working on, what you're building, what you're doing, no matter what it is, you know, no matter what it is. There's so many unique roles for us to play, you know, in this, in this shift. So I hope you all have a beautiful day and God bless you.